This is Ralph. He is a college student looking to explore life's infinite possibilities. How will he begin his exploration? He's about to enter into the fascinating and sometimes intrusive world of social networking. Hang on a second there. Before you enter all your information into the social networking site, you may want to consider the consequences. Uh, what consequences? Well, fellow internet user, social networking websites use your information to sell to advertising companies. Huh? What kind of information is that website asking for? Well, they want to know my name, my hometown, my email address, my birthday, my sex. All of that information will be made available to specific advertising companies depending on your interests. My interests? What's your favorite band? Nickelback. Well, why don't you open up their official Facebook page? Oh, I already have it open. It's really cool. Is that a liked icon I see? Oh yeah, I like the page now and now all their updates show up on my timeline. Hey dude, I heard you like Nickelback. Who's this? I tried to warn you. I've got some great offers for you. Like what? Well, I've got two tickets for uh, Nickelback performing at the Sherman on December 2nd. You can bring someone. Would you like some tickets? Yeah, definitely. Hold on there, Ralph. Don't you find it a bit odd that this man just happened to know where you are and that you like Nickelback? Oh yeah, how'd that happen anyway? Well, Ralph, it's called data mining. Data mining? What's that? It's when an advertising company uses the information you provide to social networking websites to provide you with advertisements relevant to your interests. It also benefits our company because the ads attract you, you are on the site, and I get more money. They also cater to your personal identity. So, it says on your profile that uh, you're single. Yeah, how'd you know that? Uh, are you interested in meeting some local women uh, in the area? I've got the three that seem to uh, yeah, seem to be compatible with your interests there. How do you know who I'm compatible with? W wait, wait, what's going on here? This is what I've been trying to tell you, Ralph. All these ad companies know all the information you've given to this social network. They're allowed to do that? Yes, Ralph, they are. But how? Well, Ralph, there's this thing called consequentialism. It focuses on the consequences of the situation. Its goal is to provide the best possible outcome for all parties involved. So you get your concert tickets and a date. Social network site gets more users, and I get more money. Isn't that an invasion of privacy? You did provide them with your information. Yeah, that's true. Well, I guess I'll just clean up my profile and be more careful for now on. That's great, Ralph. Have you learned a lesson from this experience? I sure did. <laughs>